For the nonlinear system of differential equations, x prime equals x times y, and y prime equals x plus y minus one, we're asked to find and classify the critical points. Recall the critical points are where x prime and y prime are both equal to zero. This indicates the first step is to determine the critical points and determine if they are isolated. Analyzing the differential equations, notice x prime is equal to zero when x is zero, and when x is zero, notice y prime is zero when y minus one is zero, meaning when y is one. This indicates that zero comma one is a critical point. Going back to x prime, notice x prime is also zero when y is zero, and when y is zero, y prime is zero when x minus one is zero, or when x is one. This indicates we have a second critical point, the point one comma zero. So the critical points are one comma zero and zero comma one. Algebraically, there are no other x and y values where both x prime and y prime are zero near these two points, which indicate the critical points are isolated. Let's also verify this by looking at the corresponding vector field as well as the face portrait. We'll do this using the online tool referenced below. We begin by entering the equations. We have x prime equals x times y, tab, y prime equals x plus y minus one. Let's also change the display. Let's change the window so both the x and y axes go from negative two to positive two. Let's also click on the box, variable length arrows on the right. And now click graph. We can change the density of the vector field by changing the number of arrows, and we can change the scaling of the vectors by changing the number for arrow length. But this looks pretty good, let's scroll down. The vector field does verify we have a critical point at one comma zero, which is here, as well as zero comma one, which is here. Recall this is where both x prime and y prime are zero, which means we'd have a zero vector in the vector field. And also if we zoom in near those critical points, we don't have any other critical points, which again verifies the critical points are isolated. To emphasize this even more, let's sketch some trajectories by clicking on points on the coordinate plane. Using the trajectories, it appears the point one comma zero is a saddle point, and the point zero comma one is a source. Let's go ahead and verify this formally. The next step is to determine the Jacobian matrix at the critical points, and then we determine the eigenvalues of the Jacobian at the critical points. The types of eigenvalues we have determine the behavior as well as the stability at the critical point. So let's work on determining the Jacobian which is the two by two matrix defined here, where x prime is equal to f of x comma y, and y prime is equal to g of x comma y. The partial of f with respect to x is the partial of x y with respect to x, which is y. The partial of f with respect to y is the partial of x y with respect to y, which is x. In the second row, we have the partial of g with respect to x, which is the partial of x plus y minus one with respect to x, which is one. And the partial of g with respect to y is also one. And now we determine the Jacobian matrix at the first critical point of one comma zero. We substitute one for x and zero for y. The Jacobian at one comma zero has entries zero, one, one, one. Notice this matrix is invertible, meaning it has an inverse because the determinant is not zero. This indicates the system is almost linear at the critical point one comma zero. Next we determine the eigenvalues of the Jacobian. To do this we set up and solve the equation the determinant of the difference of j and lambda i equals zero. The result is the determinant of this two by two matrix equals zero, giving us negative lambda times the quantity one minus lambda minus one equals zero. Solving for lambda, we have negative one half plus or minus square root five divided by two. Notice we have two real solutions. One is positive and one is negative, referring to our table, because both eigenvalues are real and opposite signs, we have a saddle and the stability is unstable. The point one comma zero is a saddle, and the stability is unstable. And now we go through the same process for the second critical point of zero comma one. The Jacobian at zero comma one has entries one, zero, one, one, which once again is invertible, so the system is almost linear at the point zero comma one, and now we determine the eigenvalues of the Jacobian. We set up our determinant, which results in the determinant of this two by two matrix equals zero. This gives us the equation, the square of one minus lambda equals zero, 
and therefore lambda equals one, which has multiplicity two. Therefore, we treat this as two real positive eigenvalues, which again, referring to our table, indicates at the critical point zero comma one, we have a source or unstable node, and the stability is unstable. Going back to the phase portrait one last time, the phase portrait does support our findings. I hope you found this helpful.